Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to the second episode of Key to the Streets. So these first three episodes are going to be going over like scripts and sales process because we're in the middle of um, implementing some new scripts and stuff in our business. So yesterday we implemented a new cold call script, not really new, but like just some some new add ons to our cold call and texting script. So we went over that yesterday on the Key to the Streets episode today. We're going to go over lead manager stuff, lead manager scripts and structures and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and share my screen. So we're going to go over lead management. What is lead management? So to give you guys an understanding of what happens, right? A cold caller or a texter, they generate a lead. So a lead is generated. What happens after that? Does this lead just hang out and go nowhere? No, we have somebody called a lead manager call that lead. So literally after this lead is generated within one hour, we have our lead manager, call it. And our lead manager, her name is Alex. She's absolutely amazing. So literally after an hour that the cold caller and texter generate a lead, we have Alex call that lead, okay? Now, what is Alex's goal? Alex's goal is essentially, this is what lead management is. This is, this is what the goal is. The goal is to push up, to an acquisition manager. That's it. So it's to qualify and set up an appointment, qualify the lead as a hot lead and set up an appointment, a phone call appointment in that um, for an acquisition manager. So what does she have to do? She has to do a couple of different things. In our business, the lead manager is the one who analyzes the lead as hot, warm, or prospective. And depending on the categorization of that depends on the type of conversation that our lead manager has in this first hour that the lead is generated. So there's a couple of things. If it's hot, she essentially just sets the appointment. Okay. And she lets them know that she's like, Hey, the, the acquisitions team is busy at the moment. Um, they'll give you a call tomorrow, essentially. And she just sets the appointment. She doesn't annoy the lead because she already sees there's a lot of motivation. There's a lot of, um, there's a good timeline. There's a good price. Condition's bad. Like all the things are hitting, right? It's a hot lead. There's no need to like dig into the pain anymore. There's already a crazy amount of motivation. By the way, to back up a little bit, there's, there's two things that essentially um, get us to this point, to push an acquisition lead up to acquisitions. There's one motivation, not just any type of motivation. This is high, um, high level motivation. So it's high level motivation for one. So this is number one. Number two, their timeline. And their timeline for us isn't to be, um, isn't to when they want to sell their property, but it's when we can help them in any sort of fashion. So whenever the lead manager sees an opportunity to help within 30 to 60 days, and there's a high level of motivation, then boom, she knows that this is an acquisition appointment. Now, if you guys go back and watch the previous video of our cold call and texting script, you guys would have an understanding of why we have this type of um, conversation that I'm about to go into for the warm lead. So warm lead, what does that look like? We essentially let the seller know, hey, could you just give me a recap of what you and the cold caller went over, right? She sets the expectation. She says, yeah, I don't know if you guys are ready to essentially be pushed up to acquisitions yet. And she says it in a, in a way that like builds some anticipation for the lead like she has to be they have to be qualified in order to go talk to an acquisition manager that's the way that she states it right and then she just says can you give me a recap okay and then she just digs deeper 
than the cold caller and texter does. Because if you go back to the previous video, the cold caller and texter, all they ask is, hey, what's got you interested in selling? And they kind of leave it at that. They don't really dig deep. They don't really go into the crying questions of like, well, why didn't you list it with a realtor and all these things, right? They just, they have a very, very brief, like two or three minute conversation. So sometimes a lead comes in from a cold call and a texter and it looks like just a warm lead, but then we have a deeper conversation and we realize that, boom, this is a hot lead. Like th they can be helped within the next 30 to 60 days. And there's a lot of motivation there, more than we thought because we dug a little bit deeper. Okay. Now there's the last thing. There's the perspective. Actually, let me back up a little bit before we go over this. The warm lead, like what is qualified as a warm lead, something that just has medium perspective, like medium motivation. And then maybe they can be helped, you know, somewhere past 60 days. Somewhere between like 60 and 90. Okay. So that's what qualifies something as warm. What's perspective? Something that's pers perspective, something that um, not too much motivation. But however, there there is a reason. What do, what do I mean by there is a reason? There is a reason why they want to sell their property. Could be maybe they're moving out in six months because of um, you know, retirement or their kid is going to college or something like that. Like it's not crazy motivation. They're not going through foreclosure. Or somebody just didn't pass away or something, but there's some sort of reason that is going to make them want to sell the property. And here's the timeline in, um, 90 days are out. And this, remember, this is when they can be helped. Okay. So what is, what does the conversation look like in a perspective lead? We essentially tell them, hey, um, I'm not I'm not going to, you know, set the appointment up for you for the acquisition manager. And we don't tell them that directly. But here's what we say. We essentially just say, hey. You know, I am the relationship manager here. I will be the one to follow up with you essentially from here on out until you're ready to sell your property. Can you just give me a rundown of um, what you and X went over? Right. And then what do they do? They dig deeper again. So it's just a different type of intro, but they're always trying to dig a little bit deeper. And when they're digging deeper, they're digging deeper on questions like, hey, why don't you list this thing with a realtor? Have you thought about renting it out? Have you thought about this, that, the other, right? They're digging in on the process questions. Like, what does your process look like? Um, and they essentially try to find some pain within the, the process of them selling the property. Now, you, you might be asking, hey, Mike, what happens when they dig a little bit deeper on the warm and perspective leads and they don't qualify it as a hot lead. It's still just a warmer perspective lead. Great question. Now it's a follow-up. What does a follow-up look like? The follow-up is given homework. What does that mean? It's analyzing the situation of the seller and saying, oh, okay, you need to um, essentially have a conversation with your wife over the next few months about what life looks like after you guys retire. Why don't you guys go have that conversation? We'll have another conversation in a few months. That's what's given. That's what given homework is. And then on the next follow up, you have something to follow up with. Follow up on the homework. So hey, hey Jane, how did the conversation with you and your husband go the past few months about you guys retiring and what the selling process looks like for you up to that point? Okay. And boom, they go through the same process again. They try to dig a little bit deeper, whether it's a warmer perspective lead. Once they dig deeper and they found out, boom, there's finally a high level of motivation and the timeline's there. Boom, they set the freaking appointment for the acquisitions team for the next day. And bada bing, bada boom, they go through the sales process. And we are going to go through the sales process with you guys tomorrow. So... I hope this helped you guys. Appreciate y'all watching again. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate y'all. Peace.